I joined the medal batch. So what do I do going forward? If you are attentive in the live lecture, I'll make sure you, your hematology will be like this. It's very, very, very simple. It's like one plus one is equal to two, as simple as that. So you can dedicate easily, easily you can dedicate 30 minutes per day. Just 30 minutes per day. We'll keep 10 days for sedentary. We'll keep 10 days for inflammation. We'll keep 10 days for immunology. One of the commonest queries I keep getting these days in the inbox is like, Sir, I have not prepared well for the past two or three months of second year. And my first internals is coming by Jan or I have given the first internals. I didn't expect the mark to be this. I was a bit lethargic. I joined the medal batch. So what do I do going forward? I think this must be one of the burning questions in almost every second MBBS who feels that they didn't have the start like most of the contemporaries. They have wasted two, three months and what to do for the next seven, eight months if they can do something to compensate for two, three months and make pathology easy. If you are one such, this video is for you and I'm Dr. Anjit. Welcome back to PW Medal YouTube channel. Let's come back to the thing. I'm not done properly in the first two, three months. Uh, should I be very hard on myself? The answer is very simple, no. I am 100% sure the euphoria of getting past, past, past in anatomy, biochemistry and physiology would have been exciting. So the first two weeks must have gone like that, right? And the next month, you must have had started your clinical postings. Surgery must be exciting to look at the inguinal hernia, to hear the murmurs, everything must have been more exciting. Some of you might have gone in default and said, okay, let me put more time on clinics, learn that, and then I'll uh, see this later. That must have taken or you're just relaxed. I've not done it. Let's see. Let's see what happens, right? So whatever said and then if you're not done the first two, three months of pathology, right? Especially general pathology, how to go forward is the next question, right? So what I'm going to divide here is there are only three topics for me. General path, hemat and systemic path, right? And then a share batch will be starting hematology mostly in the Jan month of 2025, right? So let's say this general path is not done. I have not done it properly. Can I start, have a head start from here and how to complete this also? Yes, definitely you can start from here. One and a half months, we'll complete hematology. In that one and a half months, I will tell you exactly the way to read this so that we are ready for systemic pathology. Because hematology as such is primarily a unique subject, a unique system, which is not much relation with general path or any other thing. We learn the concepts of hematology in hematology, we extrapolate in hematology, and we achieve success or euphoria in hematology, right? So what to do? So I, let's say like from Jan onwards till Feb end, if you start a little bit early, you'll have head start obviously, right? So Jan to Feb end, what do I do so that I can complete this as well as I can complete this and then maybe from mid-feb or by March, we can start excelling systemic pathology also, right? So hemat lectures, we'll have approximately two hours per day in the initial batch, it's completely fine. Believe me, hematology, we read there, we revise there. You need not go and read it or revise it back. That's a kind of a promise from me. If you are attentive in the live lecture, I'll make sure you, your hematology will be like this. It's very, very, very simple. It's like one plus one is equal to two, as simple as that. And maybe, after the class, while attending DPP, just quickly go through the notes alone for maybe five minutes. Five, 10 minutes of extra effort after the class is more than enough to excel hematology. This is a promise from me. If you stick to my schedule, you'll definitely do that, right? So now what to do for this? Here I have your cell injury, I have your inflammation and wound healing. Genetics is not very important from your CBM point of view. Yes, I have immunology, I have your neoplasia, and I have a little bit of random others, hemodynamics, right? And infections, uh, environment and infancy, one or two questions, that's all. Right now, so how do I tackle this? So you can dedicate easily, easily you can dedicate 30 minutes per day, just 30 minutes per day. Doable? Yes, doable for sure, perfect. 30 minutes per day for the old lectures. If you feel the live lectures is a bit exhaustive, go for the recorded lectures, it's completely fine. Because you have to understand the concepts, the core concepts, that's all, right? All of them will be there. Live lecture, there'll be more of an interaction, more of doubt clearing, that's all. If you feel that it's a bit voluminous for me for live lectures, let's go and watch the recorded lecture, right? 30 minutes per day. If you do 30 minutes per day, your cell injury, that's the first chapter, will be easily over in a week, approximately in a week, right? 30, 40 minutes per day, more than easy, right? Let's say 10 days, okay? We'll keep 10 days, fine? We'll keep 10 days for cell injury. We'll keep 10 days for inflammation. We'll keep... 10 days for immunology. Okay, deal? So Jan entire month will be done with these three topics, right? Then let's keep 15 days for neoplasia. Maybe you feel neoplasia is a bigger topic. Let's keep 15 days, no issues at all. 15 days for neoplasia and then maybe uh, 10 days is not required, but still 10 days for hemodynamics. That means by the end of Feb, 
you can easily and comfortably finish the general pathology backlog by just spending 30 minutes per day. Possible? Not possible. If you are in the game, I am in the game with you. I'll keep you slowly nudging with questions, slowly and steadily, so that we can complete this. This has to be done. Because without the base of pathology, excelling in medicine or any clinical subject will be a bit difficult. I don't want you to go to medicine postings and still go and read the pathology topics there. Let's read medicine there. Let's read surgery there. Why to again do the same thing, right? It's not, it doesn't sound fun, right? So once you're done with by Feb, and this also will be completed by Feb by attending the lectures, and this will start from March. We'll do it amazingly well. Because we have a stronghold on general pathology, systemic is easy. Lung as infection, covered here. As inflammation, covered here. As wound healing, covered here. Genetics, covered here. Neoplasia, covered here. So what you're going to do is, you're going to take the concept of general pathology and put in lung here. That's all. Same with for every organ. Little bit here in that tweakings, that's more than enough, right? Perfect. Okay. So the goal here, I'm sure that most of you must have had the new year resolution, right? Our new year resolution is going to be for Jan 2025, let's make pathology great again. If you've missed the first ship, there's a second ship and let's sail in and let's hopefully get uh, over the second year, not with a P, with a distinction or an honor, right? See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye from Dr. Anjit. Bye-bye.